Hi Virgo, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do our weekly angel advice, oracle card messages, and a mini love reading for the week of January 8th to the 14th, 2016. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. So, let me just say this for my new subscribers. If the reading does not resonate with you, you can look at your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. And also, no gender. Man, man, woman, woman, it's whoever it is for you. Private readings, that stuff matters, but not in the generals. Um, those of you that would like a private reading with me, um, my Facebook link is below the video. The rest of it is in the about section and um, at least two weeks, give or take. Um, I am using Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine's Guardian Angel Tarot. We have two cards by them and then all of the rest of the cards are by Doreen Virtue and of course the Romance Angels cards are by her as well. Whoa, nice, Virgo. The Ace of Cups, falling in love. Or the reassurance of a relationship, sexual growth, an enhanced intuition, a new home. Oh, sorry. Still getting used to my toy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, the Ace of Cups. So, definitely an emotional week. Or, you know, a true friendship, a soulmate be a week of compassion and kindness but definitely um, find your new home this week or a wonderful new person could come into your life which would be a Scorpio Pisces cancer Sun moon or rising oh with an emotional love offering just beautiful pleasure happiness you know, you could just find yourself falling in love. Beautiful Virgo. And we have the Virgo card with the Ten of Earth. Ten of Pentacles. A very happy family life, financial security. Finding magic in the little things in life, so love, money, new beginnings, completion, new beginnings, you know, a one, ten. So, what a beautiful start to the week. You know, your family life is strong, secure, and peaceful. You know, right, all of your family, you know, family life, those of you that are, you know, you know, in a, in a stable relationship, those of you that are married, strong, secure, peaceful this week, loving. You know, for others of you, you know, that are emotional about finding a job, that card is a card of, you know, definitely, you know, new opportunities. Right down to an inheritance, you know, just a sense of completion, you know, wholeness, um, new beginnings, beautiful so far. Archangel Michael, wow, a favorable outcome. Any legal issues with this card? Um, favorable, let me just put that out there. But, you know, whatever situation that you're concerned about has already resolved itself with fairness. You know, even if you don't see, you know, the solution at this moment, just trust that it's already in place. Just give your worries, your angels, you know, 
to God, to the angels. Just release it. Definitely, um, you'll get your desired job, which could be very, you know, financially rewarding, but emotionally fulfilling. You know, if you're just starting a new relationship, that will be long term. You know, some sort of healing could have, could occur this week for you or somebody else. And, you know, really, whatever money issues you are worried about, um, you know, definitely that is a card of just healing. And with the Ten of Pentacles being there, the Ten of Earth, sorry, um, definitely favorable. Emotional, but favorable. Relationship. Completion. It's new. It's beautiful. Inspiration. Yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly, accordingly to set it into motion. <clears throat> um, Archangel Gabriel. So, you know, to explore something new, and to be and to be inspired, you know, this could involve traveling. You know, to to you know a location, any location. It could even be like a museum collection. But traveling is definitely could be you know on the agenda for you this week. You know, getting away just you know, falling under the Ace of Cups. I mean, it definitely will. It would be inspiring, but like just, you know, a museum would be inspiring. Um, you know, it could be an exotic place. Okay, loving words by Jesus. Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Matthew 4.11 those of you that would like to read that verse this week, let me just point out, look at all the stars in this card. Just saying. Messages from the angels. Merlina, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Okay, so that's why you're, you know, the reason you're that you're confused is because we do not have all the information. You know, to make whatever decision that we're trying to make. You know, maybe the choices appear too similar right now. It's just about, you know, once you conduct additional research, your decision will become more clear. You know, and it's just by asking God and the angels to give you more information. You know, this is what I always say about this card. You know, if you're having trouble making a decision, especially if it's a relationship, you know, when you think about this person or that situation or you know, the, the next person or the next situation, whatever it is for you, whichever one makes your heart flutter, there's your answer. Right? You know, you know, you know what you want to do. You know, you just, you he there's hesitation. But Virgo, I think it's coming to an end. Oh, definitely. A new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So with this card, you've been through, you know, storms, 
rough seas. But definitely with this card, you know, the way is clear and smooth. We could expect the best. Wash away the negativity from your consciousness and only put, you know, and past memories and, and only keep positive lessons of love. Don't hang on to anything that could weigh you down. Like, you know, bitterness, resentment, just let it go. Let it go. With this card, we have turned a corner in our lives. You know, like, um, just release it and just, you know, just say that you move on, whatever it is. If you just put it behind, put it behind, put it behind you. I cannot speak today. It's not just today. Oh, relationship harmony. This came out for Wow Cancer or Capricorn. That's in my moon and my rising sign. It could definitely be in yours. Um, definitely. Um, the angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments, conflicts are being resolved now. You know, if, if you've been praying for, you know, peace, it's been answered. You know, there, there's definitely um, peace. I, when I look at that card too, I feel like enlightenment too. Just, um, you know, you could even ask the angels, God, to just help you with any aspects of your relationship that need healing. And just know that you know, all relationships ultimately have healing blessings, healing blessings, growth lessons. You know, just stay focused upon this truth as much as possible. I do feel like enlightenment. You know, I really do. I, I don't know. I just, um, I don't know. Maybe because these two cards are right under each other and they're just so bright, you know, under each other. Rainbow is like a sign of good luck. It's right in the center of the brain. Oh yeah, you guys can see that. Oh, it just brightens up the whole reading, right? Is it just me? Nope, I don't think so. That's bright. Beautiful. Debt paid off and transformation. Abundance too. And I know we've gotten this card before. Butterflies definitely are a sign of transformation. You know, new beginnings, starting over, relationship, career, job, whatever it is for you. And it's also abundance. And it's an impressive shift in your financial situation with this card. You know, some of you have just made clear decisions to be debt free. You know, you're, you're presented with opportunities this week to reduce debt. New avenues of income and our guidance about, you know, how to reduce non-essential non spending habits, you know, right down to cutting up your credit cards, pay cash for everything. Um, really, yeah. And definitely new beginnings. So, I was pulling the cards, I don't know, four cards wound up coming out. Oh, we're supposed to start here. Okay, we got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnerships. Definitely relationship harmony, whatever it is. You know, if 
you had gone through some crap and it felt just victimized and I mean that totally you know relationships relationship harmony whatever it is it's emotional it's a favorable outcome you know whether it's in marriages relationships it, it's just it's a beautiful week the situation involves marriage well all right it could be a water sign Scorpio Pisces cancer I just you know <laughs> um, or an earth sign or you know whatever I say if not you it could go the other way um, engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I'll be honest, Virgo, these two, I don't know if I've seen these. These are the last two that fell out. So somebody got, is got, uh, must be true. I cannot speak. Gosh, it's bad, like the past two days. Um, I know astrologer, I don't know what, I don't know what the problem is, but these two cards coming out together at the end, they just flew out. They didn't fly up together, but, you know, if you've been with me since day one, I keep them. But, because there's a reason for that. I don't look at them. I don't, you know, I mean, I don't really include myself, but not really. I just do it for all my subscribers. But anyway, engaged and wedding. If that's going on, Leave a comment, will you? Because that's just great. Especially if you leave, left a toxic situation. And like your knight in shining armor came through. Like that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Love it, Virgo. I love it. All right, guys. I hope this message helped you guys out for the week. Thank you guys so very much for taking the time to view the video. Um, guys, have a blessed week. A fantastic week. I will see you back here with the Morning Oracle Cards. Bye-bye.